But first, our national political correspondent, Jessica Yellen, with some background. Jessica. Well, if you remember when town hall events were dull gatherings, where people asked questions and then listened to the answers, maybe occasionally a lone protester would get escorted out. Well, that seems so quaint compared to this. Yes, Funny, they don't sound like they're there to listen and learn. Today's town hall shout fests don't leave much room for discussion often, and that's because the loudest folks, the ones getting the most attention, are often arriving with their minds made up. Many were encouraged to attend by groups on the left or the right. On the left, some of those helping to get people out, MoveOn.org, ACORN, and labor unions. On the right, Americans for Prosperity, Freedom Works, and Tea Party Patriots, among others. Now, these groups have used emails, online campaigns, even TV ads, not just to campaign on health care reform, but to promote or oppose the president's larger agenda. So, sure, the town halls are polarized, but does that mean the country is as a whole? That leads to this question. Are fringe groups taking over the town square, and is this good for our country, Wolf?